What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the add days function in the date and time functions. So add days allows you to pass in a timestamp and then add on a specific number of days that you want um, into it, uh, and then it'll output the, um, the date and the time from that. Um, you can also format it as well. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you'll try and know how this one works, but just in case you haven't, let's go through this today. So I'm in Power Automate here, I've got a manual trigger flow, and I have a compose action. So if I click into the inputs in compose, go to expression, and if I scroll down, I can go to the date and time here. Uh, click see more and I can scroll down until I get add days. So this has three parameters. This has a timestamp, days, which is going to be an integer, and format with a question mark. So this means that we need to pass in a timestamp and then we need to specify a number of days as like a whole number. Um, and it has a format with a question mark at the end of it. If you ever see anything with a question mark um, in these parameters, it means it's an optional parameter, meaning that you don't need to pass it in, but you can pass it in if you want to. So if we click add days, how we can see it goes into the expression bar at the top. And then I'm going to use UTC now to get a timestamp. You don't have to use UTC now, you can pass in a timestamp from anywhere, from your dynamics, from your CDS, from your SQL, from your SharePoint, um, anywhere you want. Just you just need a timestamp in a string format. Uh, and you can pass that in, but I'm going to use UTC now because it's easy for me to use for testing and demonstration purposes. And then we need to add uh, the number of days we want to add on, so we can say 9 for instance. So that goes in there. Now I do have this optional uh, format parameter, but I'm not going to use this just yet. So I'm just going to click OK, click Add Days, and we're going to click Test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, Click done, flow around successfully. So at the time of recording, I am recording this on the 30th of January, 2020, uh, about um, 7.17 in the evening. So this has added nine days onto that. Um, so um, it is 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and it takes us up to uh, the 8th of February. So this is actually output in a UTC style format. So we have year first, then the month, then the day, then a T for time, then the hours, the minutes, the seconds, and then the milliseconds, followed by Z for Zulu, meaning it's the end of the timestamp. But we do have that optional parameter where we can format this if we want. So if we go back to it, we'll click Edit, and we'll uh, click on the function here the expression here. Um, at the end, after the 9, if I add a comma in, it'll pop up with a tooltip, uh, and this is saying that this is an optional parameter, and I can um, specify something, and it's going to use the ISO um, 8601 standard. So the ISO 8601 standard is a standard way to format dates and times and have them represented. So you represent um, O, for instance, in this example, O is actually that UTC style format, uh, but you can um, specify a different way and the ISO standard dictates that the date has to be formatted in that way. So um, uh, Power Automate allows you to use the ISO standard to format dates and times. I've not used all the functions with it, I've used some of them, uh, most seem to work. Um, so it'll be a case of looking at that standard and you can find out um, what it is you want to, um, how you want to format it. So I could put in things like year, year, month, month, day, day, um, to get like, you know, the last two digits of the year, um, the month and the day, uh, or I could format it in a different way. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually use the um, command D. So D is a command or a sort of a parameter that I can put in using that ISO format and it'll output it in a specific way for me. So if I click update and hover over just to double check it has updated, it's always a good thing to do. We'll test it, we'll test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, run successfully, and now we can see that it's output in a slightly different format. So this has um, output in, in the American style format. So it's outputted as um, two being the month, so February, 
then the day and then the year but we don't have any of the, t any of the seconds the minutes the hours we literally just get this style of format so if you look in the iso format uh, the iso standard for these formats you can see um, what um, or how to format your dates and how they will appear in power automate afterwards so what do you guys think of this? Is this something that's useful? We'll be using it to um, say send a follow-up email in a few days to someone if they haven't responded to you, set a task for your salespeople to chase up a call after a certain number of days. Uh, what will you be using it for? I want to know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, new viewers are always appreciated. Um, if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the latest videos from me. And I'll see you next time.